I look like a clown. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know, I look a little bit clownish right now. But I am doing a uh, another video before the, with this one and I'm testing two different foundation sticks to see how they wear and compare to each other. So if that is up before this video, I'll link it down below. If not, it'll be up after this one. So with that being said, let's get into this video. I am actually doing a dupe video for an eyeshadow palette and I'm probably way behind on this, but what what can I do? I have to, I buy my own makeup, but I am duping this palette. The Divine Palette from Kat Von D. This palette retails for $38 on her website. I believe right now it is on sale for $23. Let me double check that. Yes, it is on sale for $23 right now on the Kat Von D website. Um, I believe you can pick it up at Sephora too and I believe that's where I purchased it. Um, I got it on sale as well. I got it for $27, but I found a dupe for it. The Lightspeed palette by, and this is by Bad Habit, and they are sold on the app called Hush. Um, Hush is, a, uh, is an app that sells um, relatively cheap makeup that is um, dupes for higher end makeup. These two are du are together. Now, um, I did uh, do a video for um, one of their palettes before. It was not really a dupe, but it was a dupe uh, because Tarte had come out with um, that April Fool's joke. Well, anyway, I'll link that one down below so I don't have to go into details, but here is the Divine palette. I love the little mirror. I can't show you the mirror because of my ring light, so I'll put a picture right here. Okay, here are the colors. I'm really, really, really digging this green one right here. Really digging that green. And here is the Lightspeed palette. Now it is set up a little bit differently, but the colors are exactly pretty much the same. Let's hold them side by side. And here's what they look like side by side. I mean, seriously, how much more of a dupe can you get? So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm going to be using one palette on one side, I'll use the Bad Habit over here, and then I'll be using the other palette on this side, which will be the Kat Von D on this side. So without wasting more time, let's get into this look. I do have two sets of brushes that I'm gonna be using so I don't have to clean them or I won't cross with the colors with each other. And I don't know about you, but do I look really, I, I do look so clowny. Okay, so let's get into this eye look. I'm going to be going in with this color all over the lid for the left side. And I'm going to be going in with this color all over the lid for the right side. I'm going to be going in with this color right here, Hyperdrive, that light baby blue kind of pink as a transition shade. Now I've never used these before, never used either of these palettes before, so I don't know how much to put on so I might be going back in, but they do. this one seems to be buildable. I'm going to be going in with the same color in the Kat Von D palette, this one right here, Waters, and doing the same thing. This one's blending out just as well. I 
I almost touched my other eye with it. Okay, so that seems to be pretty much the same color. What do you think? Let's take a little bit of this color right here, Momentum, and just deepen that crease a little bit. I know it's a shimmer. But I'm just going to put just a little bit there. Just to deepen that blue a little bit because I think I'm going to go with a dark smoky eye. Wait, what? Not a cut crease? Yeah, that was a bit much. I'm sorry. It's going on quite well and it blended out really nice. Nice. Okay, so now with the Kat Von D, I'm going to go into this one right here, Baltimore, and do the same thing. To match the other eye, and this one's blending out quite well too. And they're buildable. Okay, so now I'm going to go into black hole. And I'm just going to put it on the outer corner right now of my eye. Kat Von D side, I'm going to go in with a little bit of hard magic. And I'm just going to do the same over here. I might need a different brush though. I think this brush is a little too much. go into a little bit of this color right here, Gravity, and I'm just going to put that on the rest of my lid. I might end up using it wet though, so let's see. I think I'm going to use it wet just so it looks a little bit more foiled looking if I can find my spray. And now with the Kat Von D, I'm gonna go into a little bit of Filthy on this side. And I'm gonna uh, dig my palette into my other palette. And I am going to wet this brush too. So far, both of these palettes are performing extremely well. Now I am going to throw on some liner and some mascara and some lashes and I will be right back and we will do the lower waterline. 
All right, guys, I am back. And as you can tell, I put on a little bit of uh, liner and lashes and a little bit of mascara just on the top, just like I said I was going to. Let's get, let's get working on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of a uh, liner in my waterline. Now we're done there. Now I'm going to go back in with a little bit more dark magic. I don't know, flat brush. And I'm just going to put that right up next to my waterline. And I'm going to go back into black hole with this palette and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I picked up a lot of uh, product with that brush. So now for the rest of the lower lash line, I am going to add another pop of color to the lower lash line just to kind of brighten up the smoky, darky, smoky, dark, smoky, darky. I am going to go into Supersonic. I'm just going to take a, a pencil brush. Oh, that's a lot of pigment. And then I'm just going to Sweep it under my eye. Holy cow, is that bright. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but holy cow. Wow. Wow, that... That that's the color I was living for in this palette. I'm gonna have to do another look with just that color as like the main color instead of that blue. And with the Kat Von D palette, I'm going to go into Pink Flamingos, which is that same green color on a pencil brush. And I will be doing the same thing over here. Wow. That's a bright color. You can't you can't see it on the monitor. So I wonder if you can see it on camera. Maybe if I zoom in. I'm going to go into orbit and just put that I'm going to wet my brush first. I am going to put it in my inner corner instead of a typical highlight. Oh, my nose is itching. That's a shiny color. Your hair is wow. And with Kat Von D, I'm going to go into this color right here, Hairspray. And I'm going to do... Oh, my nose! And I'm going to do the same thing on this eye that I did on that eye.
Okay, now a little bit of mascara. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on probably a nude lip and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can tell, I am glowing for the gods. So yeah, um, I am loving both of these palettes. Really, to be honest with you, the, both of these palettes are quite amazing. They both blended out very well, the colors matched, they didn't get muddy, and if you ask me, both colors, both palettes are very similar in color. Very similar to where you really can't tell. Um, I am gonna go and test this out, I just threw on a nude lip, and I'm gonna go and test this palette out for the rest of the day, and I will be back later to let you know how it goes, and um, yeah. So it'll be a couple seconds, it'll be not even a couple seconds, it'll just be a second for you, but it'll be a couple hours for me. Right now, right now it is 3.31. Um, it's 3.31. So I will be back in a couple hours to let you know my complete and final thoughts of both palettes and let you know how they wear and if there's any fallout or any... I don't even know what I was going to say. Any shade, any fading, any shading. Oh yeah, shading. No, if there's any fading or anything like that. So with that being said, I will be back. Hi guys, I'm back. It is now 945. I've had this makeup on for what, about maybe six hours or so. Um, and I am here to let you know how these palettes held up. Which one did better? That's my cat. Was it the light speed or was it the divine palette? So I'm looking at it and I'm seeing creasing on the Kat Von D side. But on the light speed side, I am not seeing any creasing whatsoever. Well, hello, Spencer. Isn't he a pretty kitty? Turd. So, <laughs> I am thinking that if you like this color combination and you don't want to spend the $32, I would definitely, definitely buy this one. This one, like I said, is only $12 on the Hush app. I will link the app down below. And I, th I, I'm really kind of disappointed with the Kat Von D ones because they did crease and but this one did not see creasing no creasing hmm kind of disappointing huh so yeah thanks for watching let me know if you want me to do some more dupe videos and let me know what dupe products you want me to test out down below uh give this video a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video, which is usually just once a week. I try to do once a week, but sometimes I can't because, you know, family life, but yeah. Anyway, Spencer and I would like to say good night.